<laughs> Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Coagua Reviews Efficiency Games by HC. Uh, this time we have another expert game. This one is a 142% efficiency game, which is quite a good one. Uh, most notable, notable thing about this game is that it is a 245 uh, 3BV board, which is uh, actually quite high. Like, I think I've had like one or two boards ever that are uh, above this in the, you know, thousands of games that I've won. So this is like a less than 1%, probably like maybe like 0 0.1, 0 0.2% of like boards you're going to find are going to be this high CBV. So this is um pretty lucky in that sense because, you know, higher boards are going to give you better chances for good, um you know, good efficiency like this. Because, you know, high CBV means it's like, you know, not as many openings and you have lots of ones and stuff like that. As you can see here, like, all this stuff is really good. I uh, Like, this whole middle section, like, everything here is good. And you have a few openings, like, here and here. In the shop a little bit, but overall it's, like, very good. And, like, even these two, right, you can do some good cording off these with some well-placed flags. Up here. I'm like up here. So um, let's have a look at the game. So to start off with, what we do is we go this corner and there's in this corner. And we don't go to any more corners, which uh, and turns out being, uh, you know, a pretty good choice because we don't have any more corners in this game. And if he had gone for more corners, uh, the bottom right corner wouldn't have really hurt him at all. Because he was just going to click that anyway. But then the bottom left one is actually a mine. So, uh, you know, that's a good way to avoid blowing up. But, like, definitely in a situation like this, I would have uh, gone for more corners. Like, I like to have at least two uh, fairly, you know, decent openings. Like, say, if I get enough opening that's similar to this one, where you have, you know, a lot of ones, and you have, like, multiple places to get, you know, nice cards off. Like, I try to go for that, but here, you can just work off this, and it's not too bad. So we start off going to the left, and then up here we go for a bit of a risky chord with a 50-50. Uh, this early on in the game, where it's only been 3 seconds, it's uh, not a bad choice. Definitely a kind of risk that you're less likely to take, uh, you know, when you're near the end of the game compared to the start. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, then we get some chords going up this way, which is pretty nice. We go down and go around. So over here, um, clicking this one, I don't think I would personally do it. I would rather, you know, flag here in cord, and then this one would be revealed, and I'd cord off that. And you'd have like this square revealed for free. So I don't think that's a, a great move. Could have been improved a little bit, but you know. It's okay. And then over here, uh, we do this thing again where we go chord to the left and then we go chord down. I think you pretty much always want to do uh, this chord first, the down one, because it's much bigger. You reveal a lot more squares. Not really much advantage to going for the one up here, I think. This happens a few times, and there's a couple times where it's like a definite mistake. Over here, we go for this flag. Because uh, we've got these here and the flag here. Oh, not too bad. Ends up being pretty good because we get a few chords out of that. We've got the corner one that lets you uh, quad off in multiple directions. It's a pretty nice one to find. So I can work off that. Go down multiple directions. What to do? Bam. And then once again, we have a situation where we go down instead of to the left. And I think uh, to the left here would be better. It does, you know, clear up the square, which would have been cleared by this. But on the other hand, if you do this, then there's a chance you could place a flag here and get nice squads of that way. So I don't think, I don't think you really want to be doing this. What to do? 
Pretty nice. Over here, um, I think you want to try and go, you know, I'd go for one of these ones for a chord instead of going straight down. This one I'd be a little hesitant to do because there's a good chance that there's an opening up here because you've got like a ones here. If there's a mine like here, for example, then like this would be an opening. So that's this kind of thing you'd want to avoid. But in this situation, what I'd probably do is I'll try and like look for some other decent chords to go for and then see if I find some info about if this is an opening or not before doing this chord. Over like, you know, this chord, for example. But I guess, um, you know, chording into this as an opening would not be too bad. So maybe you do this anyway. Bam, bam, bam. Going around. And so over here, we go for this click up here. Trying to hope for like a decent chord. But I definitely think going down here and flagging this one would be much better. Because up here, there's not really much rewards you can get out of finding a one or whatever you do. Because over here, this is a very, uh, you know, safe and good chord. You've got a one two one, so this is for sure of mine, and you could flag this and clear all these squares around it, which is uh, what HC ends up doing up later anyway. But I think now is the best time to do it instead of, you know, doing the stuff up here. And then up here, you have two flags placed to do a single chord. It's not really much of a reward you get out of this, because you've placed two flags, and chord, and clear four squares. It's kind of, uh, you know, not ideal. If there was nothing better to do, I would say it's acceptable, but now there's, you know, there's plenty of better things to do on this board still. At the moment, you know, you'd want to flag like this chord, flag this in chord. So I would definitely, uh, you know, wait before doing something like that move he's just did. But finds this squad, which is pretty nice. Now we finally get to this one, which is good. Working our way around. Uh, so up here, I don't think I want to click here because it's not very, uh, not very, not very much you can get out of it. You can see this two here it means that like the best case. The best you could possibly hope for to, from clicking here is to uh, get a get a two, which is not great. Uh, so if you're gonna, you know, want to reveal the square, I'd maybe flag here and then chord, and then you know, otherwise I'll just kind of leave it. And then he clicks here, getting the one. I probably just would have gone for this initially, if you wanted to go for this uh, chord here. It would have just saved a click because you'd clear this one for free. I would have been, you know, about just as likely to work out. Bam. Uh, so here, if we uh, clear these two squares by just clicking them, I think a better way to do that would be to flag this here and then cord. Because you got a flag here that may end up being useful. And, you know, if you might have a use for something later on, then you might as well, you know, flag it. For example, in this case, if you flag here and then chord here, you may later on flag this and chord, and then if you get a 2 here, you could chord that again to save a click. You know, stuff like that. And there's no downside to doing this, so you might as well just, uh, pop down that flag. Especially going down first. Because this is going to be like a two, no matter what. So it's cleared. Bit unlucky there, hitting the wall for. So there's no uh, no way to continue there. So in this case, uh, this is like the safe option. Once we reveal this two, we go flag, flag, and then cord. But we could have had a better option. Uh, so to clear this area, we do need to do one, two, three, four, five clicks. If we click here, we could flag, flag, and then chord. 
that would be one, two, three, four clicks. So if you go, if you click here and go for the HC cord, which requires finding a two, and flagging these two, this could have saved a um, click, but it would have only worked if these were both safe. I think this is a case where it's probably worth going for. And I'm kind of surprised HC didn't go for it. But um, this is the, the safe option where it works even if these are mines. And it does save the one click at least. So it's not strictly wrong. We got this area cleared up and now we move on. Yeah, for the click here, apparently hoping for finding a two. And we don't find it, so we have to do something else. Our clear in this is uh, probably not that great. Might be good or not. Um, looking for more HC cords. Finding a one here would have been pretty good. Is it possible? Um, oh wait, yeah, this is mines. Yeah, it would have been good. A good, a good, uh, a good try here. But uh, unfortunate you didn't get it. It's pretty unlucky actually, because only these two need to be cleared to actually uh, get that. So those are actually really good chances to find one here. And here we find the one down here. Not bad. Clean around. Again, another case of the uh, not going for the fat accord for you know, no real benefit. And like, you know, we end up quoting this anyway down here. So there's not much, you know, there are not many cases where it's better to not do it. We go over here. Um, not sure if it's better to do a chord like this or a chord like this. I feel like doing this chord is a bit better because, um, actually no. I think it's just the same, because you do end up doing this anyway. I was thinking if you, you know, you likely want to do this. Well, then you're going to want to do this anyway. So we just go to the left. Flag some stuff. Quick, quick here. Could have used this flag, but uh, that's not necessary at this point, because there's no world where you use this flag to, you know, clear more stuff. Mm -hmm. Find the HC cord over here. Oh, pretty good stuff. Pretty nice. I would have also considered going for uh, this one. Because you have, you know, you know, these are safe. Uh, this one is you know, also fun. Ends up finding both. Do do do. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So, not too much to say. Uh, over here, uh, going for this click. Uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense because there's really nothing to gain from going here, like the... Mm, yeah, you get like a two. Because these are clear. And you get one, two. And if you're not going to record it, then... Oh, uh, you know, why go for this, you know? Doesn't make that much sense. So here... We do find the one to get a good card off. Although, it's probably not what I would have gone for, because I think it's better to go for the uh, the chords down here. It's a little bit safer, I think. Because you can flag this, and then quad this, as well as this, and there's a good chance you get a 1 either here, or here, or get a 2 here, to continue quoting on. Whereas this is a bit more, a bit more risky, because you need like this to be cleared and these to be cleared. Not really guaranteed. And then if you do go this way, uh, it's uh, useful because, you know, it could provide info. For example, what you reveal over here could tell you about, you know, this three and this two, and whether there's likely to be a mine up here to ruin this uh, HC chord chance. 
but you know, pretty uh, fortunate that it is found because this quad is pretty nice. Got a decent amount. And we fly Q and do this quad. This makes sense now. And then again, uh, we go here. Doesn't really make too much sense. Um, when it's uh, here. Just clear this, hoping for, um, I guess it's possible it could be a 1, so, yeah, actually, yeah, decent, decent attempt at the HC quad, but unfortunately, we get a miss. Uh, here's another case where we uh, do two clicks instead of placing the flag. So here, we want to flag here in cord instead of doing click click. So now, you know, this square isn't flagged when it could have been flagged for free. And then we reveal this too. And what happens is we caught off the two with a flag that could have been placed for free. So it would have been much better if we'd done the flag here and would have saved uh, this click for free. We continue. Uh, this is another click. Uh, clicking here doesn't really make any sense, I think. Because, like, what are you going to reveal here that's going to be useful? Uh, nothing. Like, the best you could hope for is to reveal a 2. And then you, like, you know, flag these in cord. And it's not really very exciting. Whereas you still have this over here to do. So, I definitely don't think that this click is a... A worthy one. And then again, we go for the 8C cord, hoping... If I guess the one, uh, you know, good attempt, but not quite. Now we get the the four chords. Yeah. So over here, when we go for this click, followed by these two, I think it's better to go down the bottom left first, because if you have a look uh, at this point. You can see that uh, these, this square here is not going to be revealed by any kind of chords, like no matter what you do over here. So if you click here, there's, possible, there's a possibility that it could provide some info that could, uh, you know, determine what you want to do over here. So like here, for example, if you'd revealed a 4, you'd have known that the, you can't get better than a 2 here. And there's no, you know, you could you could say that like maybe it wouldn't change what you do regardless of what you reveal here. But the point is that um, because these two squares can't be revealed by chords, like no matter what, it's better to go for them for info. You know, because they could provide some info. It's better go that way. So over here, we clear along the bottom, and we go bottom right here for the opening. Uh, not, you know, too bad a choice, because if, like, these two squares are cleared, you get an opening here, so there's a pretty good chance you find one. Uh, not the worst idea to go for that one, to be honest. And then we get a, you know, one 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 pattern here. We could go up here or down here to go for the chord. It's about the same, and then, in this case, it didn't really matter either way what he did. And we go here, probably hoping for, you know, an HC chord with a 2 here, maybe. This bit is a little bit, um, hectic. We end up clicking around quite a lot, not really finding all that much to do. Bit, uh, unfortunate, but... You know, here... I think at this point, if you want to play risky, if you fly here in cord, it might be good. Because I feel like this is a pretty decent chance to be a mine. And this would be a really good cord. But that's probably too risky to do at this stage. Although we're doing uh, a lot of clicks. Uh, clicking here, by the way, uh, is definitely kind of useless. Because this is only ever going to be a 1. So it doesn't actually give you any information. If you're clicking around to try and figure things out. Because you see here, there's um one of one of these two is going to be a mine. 
and only one, and this square only points to these mines. So clicking here uh, reveals no information that's of any use. So it's better to just uh, not do it. And eventually we find this flag here, for a chord here. We clear these two, which could have been a flag here and a chord, to save a click if we'd uh, left the score alone. But now, we'll. now we're towards the end. Uh, once again, this is another mistake where we chord to the right and then up. But if you look at this square here, uh, you definitely want to chord this first. Because, like, in this case specifically, because we got everything here is walled off, the only way you're going to ever reveal this square is either by cording this one specifically, or by clicking here. So if you're going to, you know, use a click to clear this area, you might as well cord on this one before doing anything else. And here, you would have seen it would have just straight up saved a click, because you would have um, got this down here cleared with an opening. So you know. You go here, a couple flags. So here he goes for the HC chord, hoping for the one here to get a flag here. I personally, I would have gone up here to go for the one, because then you flag here in chord and get a few. It's not quite as um, high reward as what it would have been if it was a one here. And you, you know, want to flag this. So it's a little bit uh, greedy, and it doesn't work out, but you know, there's uh, there's logic to it. And then it ends up being just having left click city for the rest of all these. And we get to the left side of the board, and nothing too crazy happens here. We get a flag, then a chord, and then this chord, and then over here we have the guaranteed opening which is spotted by HC right away, so we just click the square. It's good stuff. And then we go on and uh, complete. And yeah, uh, that is the uh, efficiency uh, PB by HC on Xvert at the moment. Uh, i got to say this one, I'm not as impressed as I was by the uh, intermediate game that he did. I feel like this one has, you know, a good number of mistakes, so I'd give this like an 0 0.0, uh, I'd give this a 0 0.8092 out of 1 for this Zini. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, uh, that is my review for this game. But, you know, congrats HC on getting the, the one forty. Good work and good luck on our future games. Uh thanks for watching everyone. Next video I might do a review of a game by someone who is an HC. Isn't that wild? Uh bye bye.